1MDB's project partners are having a bit of a problem trying to get financing for the Don Raza Exchange and the Bandar Malaysia project. Second Deputy Finance Minister Johari Abdul Ghani says 1MDB's joint venture with Australia's land lease cannot move because they cannot get financing due to the issue with 1MDB. Likewise, the JV with the IWH CREC consortium is stuck. Johari admits that it's very difficult for both local and foreign lenders to finance the projects because of 1MDB's woes. 1MDB is wholly owned by MOF Inc. PM Najib says it's still too early to conclude if there is fraud in a 3.5 billion US dollar deal between 1MDB and its Abu Dhabi partner IPIC. He is of course referring to the payment that 1MDB made to a mysterious British Virgin Islands based ABA Investments, not to be confused with IPIC's subsidiary also named ABA Investments. Najib says the state's fund is currently studying the matter and that it will take necessary steps to prove that IPIC and its units are responsible for the billions paid to this fake ABA. 1MDB boss Arukanda earlier said that the fund might be a victim of fraud after IPIC denied any link to the doppelganger company. Hold on to your wallets because the government is looking to tax people making money off digital businesses. That means block shop owners, cleaning services providers and Uber and Grab drivers. Ewan Serga, the finance ministry's SecGen says, digital economy is expanding and that the government could face losing revenue if it doesn't tax them. Ewan says Uber and Grab drivers, for instance, can make up to 7,000 ringgit a month. The IRB will be conducting a study on the matter. It's probably the largest and most anticipated listing of the year. We're of course talking about EcoWorld International's 500 million US dollar IPO. And now it's apparently going to get a major shot in the arm in the form of a main shareholder, Singapore's Guoku Land. According to Dow Jones, the company, which is controlled by Malaysia's third richest man, Kwiklin Chan, plans to buy up to 30% of EcoWorld International. It's a big deal. As Dow Jones points out, Gokuland has a market cap of over $1.5 billion and it is one of Southeast Asia's biggest developers. So it would improve the prospects of the IPO to have such a cornerstone marquee investor. The listing is slated for August. Over in London, EcoWorld Bellamore has sold more than half the units of its first residential block in Embassy Gardens Phase 2. EcoWorld Bellamore is a JV between EcoWorld International, which is currently en route to be listed, and UK's Bellamore Group. Embassy Gardens Phase 2 is just one of three projects that the partnership is embarking on and represents its single largest property project in London. It comprises 709 luxury units and 163 affordable ones and has an estimated GDV of £957 million. The other two projects are Wardian London and London City Island, scattered along London's waterfront with a total GDV of £2.5 billion. Chairman Liu Kitsin believes there is a lot of potential for EcoWorld in London and for Malaysian investors in the UK market. Embassy Gardens Phase 2 has so far recorded £120.8 million in sales as of end January after launching in September last year. According to the company, the rest of the units will not be up for sale for the time being. This is to allow some space to value-add and increase their prices.